Here we have Space Raft being played on the, well, it's actually an NES ROM. Being, play, being played on the uh, PS Classic. So this game follows a, a, uh, a band that's really based out of uh, Michigan, if I'm not mistaken, uh, correctly. Um, and the point of the game is, is that you have to get the mixtapes back from a disgruntled ex-band member. So the first part of the game has you um, in a van <laughs> getting to the to, to the venue, and then it goes from this into a uh, Pac-Man type game. So it's a, a, a pretty good variation and mix up of of uh, uh, genres, so to speak. Let's put it that way. And when you go to the Pac-Man uh, type gameplay, you've got, um, whoa, uh, you've got to deal with the x band member trying to, to thwart you. Now, um, you will likely notice some slowdown. Um, that is an issue with the ROM. I'm not entirely sure if it's something that... Well, okay, I will say this. It's either an issue with the ROM or an issue with the emulator I'm using. I'm using Messin, which um, is usually compatible with these types of games. When you download these games from places like uh, Ichio and stuff like that, um, and or you get them for review, uh, Messin's generally the emulator they tell you to, to go with. That's what I'm using here on the PS Classic. So here's the disgruntled band member, and it's it's kind of just uh, uh, interesting little story. Though the story is somewhat um, it's it's not bad. I'll I'll, I'll, I'll say that it's not bad. It's a, it's a very unique story, but I'm not gonna say it's not. But it's 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 a somewhat predictable one. Let's just put it that way. So far, anyway. So as you'd say, this is really the the first boss. <laughs> John, was that the old spacecraft bass player, Serenity? You mean base raft? Didn't he move to California? Wow, yes, it is me, back from California. I've stolen the tapes to the new space raft record. Wait, what? <laughs> yeah, what? Why? Unlike Pete Best, I am a spiteful man. This is revenge. Mini fridge, press B, B button to change uh, band member, press A button to attack. Drink coffee for success. Stage one. All right, so here you've, you've gotten into the Pac-Man-esque gameplay. Um, so you've got the different band members. Different band members have different attacks. So it looks like he throws a bowling ball. Yeah, bowling ball. He's got a punch. He drops a bomb. And then he does a fire attack. Oh, that's kind of cool. I did notice that you can burn those. Maybe there's items in there at some point. <laughs> All right, so in the Pac-Man type levels, I mean, it's, it's I mean, it's Pac-Man in the sense you go around collecting all the burgers and then you move on to the next venue. But it's it's by no means linear, which is really nice. And 
And if you get the coffee, it will make you invincible <laughs> for for a short time. And the uh, the records. That might be. This guy throws bowling balls. Oh, really? He got a coffee? Wow, that sucks. So I'm start the venue over again. He's got it too now. Oh, there he goes. Come on. Come on. There we go. Cool. Alright. So you play your concert. And then you move on to the next venue. Now, uh, all of the uh, background tracks in this game are actually chiptune versions of the band's actual album. Which is really nice. Um, now... Because with the ROM, I was given um, a digital copy of the album. Uh, you'll be hearing their music here in the background, which is uh, it's pretty pretty awesome music, actually. Oh, I can't burn that one up. Apparently, okay. I like how it changes up now. This this one's hot dogs. <laughs> but the uh, the the change in gameplay is pretty, it's pretty awesome. It's pretty unique. Uh, definitely a, a welcome surprise, I must say. Definitely was not expecting this game to be a Puzzman pu Puzzman <laughs> Pac Man uh, style puzzle game. Um, definitely. Uh, wasn't expecting that, but it's 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 a lot of fun. And the uh, the, the sprites were really well done. The uh, the the character profile images uh, of the with likeness of the band those are really cool looking, especially for an NES game. Really well done there. And the game is just overall really fun to play. Now I don't know if this game is free or will be free on uh, on each year at the time of release. Um, I don't know if it's gonna be a paid game, but either way, uh, if you gotta pay a couple bucks for this game or you can get it for free, definitely worth checking this game out. Uh, the records here spin you around, which I thought was kind of cool, which doesn't <laughs> doesn't work when you're a coffee and you apparently there we go. Oh, I knew it was too high to get him, but I got the duck at least. Bird, whatever it was. Can I hit you? No. I forgot to try. Yeah, so it's a little bit of slowdown. I'm and I'm again not understanding if that's part of the ROM or if that's um, a issue with the emulator. I know it's an issue with the PS Classic, but. Quick. He's headed across town. Get in the van. Hurry up, guys. We have to get those master tapes back. I'm hungry. <laughs> How are you going to release the new record without the master tapes? Trick question. You aren't. Stage two. Oh, 
Whoops, that was dumb. <laughs> Alright, so I, I, mean, I guess you could say that the stages are, are pretty long given the fact that you've got multiple venues per stage. There's nothing wrong with that. This game's pretty awesome, actually. Oops, I mean to do that. There's a glitch right there for you. There's another one. But even despite these, these little hiccups the game has, such as the speed issues and the glitched hamburgers, you know, what, what good NES game doesn't have a few glitches, right? Okay, I'm going to go ahead and review here. Um, this has been a look at Spacecraft on the NES. A really great, brand new homebrew game um, that, again, I don't think is uh, out yet. It may actually still be in development. Um, I'm not sure what the SAS is on this, but um, whether it's a finished game or uh, or an in development game, this game looks awesome. Plays awesome. So I definitely encourage you, if you if you're looking at this game going, hey, this game looks pretty neat. I'd definitely be on the lookout for it. Definitely be on the lookout for it. It's definitely a great game to to play on any console that, or any uh, machine you can emulate uh, NES games on. Got him. <laughs> All right. I want to uh, thank the developers for the re opportunity of this ROM. This has been a great look at a, a, look at a great game here. Um, and I want to thank you for watching. Thank you for subscribing. As always, till next time, take care and happy gaming.